Hey guys, what's going on? Got your boy CSB here coming at you with another rebuilding video. Uh, in the poll last video, you guys did vote for the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, I don't have the exact numbers up right now, uh, but it was a very, very, very tight race. And uh, it was probably one of the tightest races that we've ever had for, you know, which team I should be rebuilding. Uh, there are three teams left, so make sure to go and vote uh, on which team I should be re rebuilding. Next, there is the Utah Jazz, the, the Sacramento Kings, and the Detroit Pistons. Now, uh, with these trades, one person that I am going to want to trade, uh, maybe, maybe not, uh, as you see, I do get uh, Embrace the Paces draft class, is Kemba Walker. So, um, let's just see what kind of trades I can make happen right here. Uh, I don't really know what I want to do. First trade I will be making is for the Wizards first round pick. They usually suck in the first year, and Michael Kidd Gilchrist is not really someone that I want to be the small forward of the future, and we are getting Paul Pierce in return, and also uh, Michael Kidd Gilchrist cannot shoot whatsoever. So I'm going to, going to accept this deal, so now we have one first round pick on our hands. Let's try to get two while we're at it. Uh, let's go for the Magic's first round pick. Actually, let's go for the Lakers first round pick next year. Because that pick should be good. Um, you want Cody Zeller. You want um, Okay, uh, I will take this for Cody Zeller. Uh, we are giving up our 2017 first round pick. Now, you're probably wondering why am I getting the Lakers first round pick next year. They're probably going to suck. So, that means I can get Ben Simmons, Jalen Brown, uh, Thon Maker. Uh, do I have to give up a pick? My 2016 second round pick. I will take this deal. Joel Embiid, welcome to the Charlotte Hornets. Now, uh, our team is still looking bad. Uh, what can I get for, for Bismack Biombo? Maybe something um, a little bit better. Ner <laughs> Nerlens Noel, are you kidding me? Um, Miritich, I could get Miritich, but I get Miritich a lot. For Tim Hardaway Jr., all I have to give up is PJ Harrison and Gerald Henderson, and I'm also getting Lance Thomas in return. I'm going to take that uh, because I do want uh, Lance and uh, where is he at? Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. to be the uh, the uh, shooting guards for the future, I guess, uh, of this team. And I have not gotten um, Tim Hardaway Jr. in forever, it seems like. I have not gotten him in a rebuilding video since the first one, which was the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take this trade for Norris Cole and Quincy Pondexter, but then go and trade Quincy Pondexter right away because uh, he is making three mil for four years, and I do not want to have to have that. Uh, on the books when I'm going to sign free agents. And these trades really suck. Let's just get Sean Williams and Karam Butler, because why not? The Clippers want Carlos Boozer for Glenn Big Baby Davis and Hito Turkoglu. I'm going to take that. And now our team is kind of looking set. I mean, I don't really want to trade anybody else. Uh, maybe maybe Brian Roberts, but, uh, I mean, what can I really get for him? Austin Rivers? All right, let's get Austin Rivers. And, yeah, those are all the moves that I'm going to make because, yeah, I don't really want to make any uh, any other moves. I mean, maybe Bismack Biombo, but the trade market for him sucks, and I don't want to give up Lance for Iman Shumpert. I don't want to give up Lance for JJ Redick. Uh, you know, there's really no moves here that I really want to make, and Bismack Biombo is a good center. I mean, maybe the Knicks first-round pick, but not really. Um, yeah, don't really want to trade uh, Bismack Biombo. Like I said, good center. So our team at the start of season number one, Mo Williams, Lance Stevenson, Paul Pierce, Glenn Davis, and Joel Embiid uh, running a nine-man rotation. So let's simulate to the end of year one. Uh, we'll probably make the playoffs knowing my luck. We, we, you know, we probably will, but, you know, whatever happens, uh, we're obviously not going to win a championship this year. So there's no need to worry about that. So hopefully uh, we can just suck and then get good players in the draft just like I do in basically every single video. Just like in the real NBA, Steph Curry wins the MVP award. Uh, in 2K, he averaged 23.7 rebounds, 10 assists, and 2.5 steals. Andrew Wiggins, Rookie of the Year, no surprise there. Reggie Jackson as a member of the Bulls, Sixth Man of the Year. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. Jimmy Butler, Most Approved Player. And Tom Thibodeau, Coach of the Year. Pretty ironic because he did get fired in real life. Uh, all NBA first team, LeBron has a strained groin. Uh, he's out four or six weeks. Gordon Hayward, Bruce Tailbone, probably doesn't matter because the Jazz probably didn't even make the playoffs. 
Uh, yeah, if you guys saw those teams, there you go. And all NBA third team, all defensive first team. I'm not expecting anyone from our team to make any of these teams. Uh, Rondo has a hand fracture. Oh, wait, no, there is Joel Embiid making the all defensive second team. That is good to see. And then the all rookie first team. There is no one. Oh, n n duh. There is Joel Embiid right there. Other than that, no one from our team made any, well, got any other awards. We finished tied for seventh, uh, which basically means eighth. Uh, we're going to lose in four games. And then right after we lose in, oh, wait, what? We actually won. Well, we're going to lose in five games. Yeah. So uh, let me just simulate and see where, what uh, all the trades were that happened this year. Uh, ben Gordon for Danny Green. That's a good trade for the Magic. Uh, wow, Reggie Jackson for Nikola Miritich, bad trade for the Bulls. Uh, Pendra Kirkins to the Heat for Josh McRoberts. Nothing else too weird. And then uh, all the trades that we made. So, NBA Finals is probably going to be Thunder and, and ne never mind the Bulls. The Bulls and Spurs and the Bulls win in five games as Joakim Noah wins Finals MVP. Uh, usually when the Bulls win, it's either Derrick Rose or Jimmy Butler, and I've never seen Joakim Noah win Finals MVP. Matt Barnes, broken kneecap, done for his career, and yeah, Paul Pierce retired, but it doesn't really matter because uh, I was looking to trade him in the offseason anyways. So that Wizards pick turned out to be, well, it turned out to have the third best odds at getting the number one pick, so let's see if we can get that number one pick. Uh, we're probably not even going to get it because, you know, my luck is awful with with the lottery but in the past couple of uh, rebuilding videos my luck has been pretty great and i hate when it gets and we get the fourth pick of course we do the suns get two straight picks are you kidding me man okay so the uh original deal right here was austin rivers and the lakers first round pick next year uh i will just give them the fourth pick and then this is their second pick uh or the third pick i don't know which one and they're insane so i'm not even gonna try and move up anymore uh, we are stuck with the fourth pick. I mean, I can try and get a pick, like, you know, the 10th pick uh, for maybe the 15th pick, uh, but they want Noah Vonley. Not going to do that. So hopefully Carl Anthony Towns falls to number four because I really do want him, and then that would uh, lead me to trade Noah Vonley because, um, you know, he has good trade value, so I could get a lot for him. So hopefully we can get something going. Oh, wait, I have a good idea. Okay, hopefully the Suns will accept this trade offer. I think it's a pretty good trade if you ask me. And they're not having it. Here, just take these players out. I will give you Noah Vonley and the fourth pick for the second pick. Straight up. Are you kidding me? You want... No, I'm not... No, I'm not going to do that. No, man. The, the Suns are so thirsty. They are so thirsty. I'm not giving you any picks. I'll give you my 2016 first round pick. Oh my god, really? So hopefully they just don't take Carl Anthony Towns. Hopefully they don't. And they do. One pick before me. Just their their trades were so unrealistic for me. And I was not going to have it at all. So now I honestly have no idea who to take. I have no idea who to, who to select in the, uh, in the draft. I mean we have Austin Rivers as our point guard. But we do need a point guard obviously. So I mean I don't know. We could get... Uh, all right, so I'm going to get D'Angelo Russell. I'm going to get D'Angelo Russell and then try and move up and get uh, the sixth pick and then and then try to get uh, Justice Winslow. So we are on the clock with the 15th pick in the draft, and I have no idea who to take. Dead serious right now. I have no idea who to take. And, I mean, who did the mock drafts have us taking? Probably someone that's already taken. They had us taking Sam Decker. Uh, Tsuke had us taking Cameron Payne. Not going to do that. And uh, Montrez Hale. I mean, Montrez Hale is probably the ideal, you know, choice here. I mean, but like, we don't need a power forward. Uh, we really do need a point guard. We are in need of a point guard. A lot of you guys tell me to get Jerry and Grant, and I don't believe that I've got Jerry and Grant yet. So let's draft Jerry and Grant with the 15th pick in the draft. In probably one of the worst drafts that I've ever had in this rebuilding series, uh, we get D'Angelo Russell and Jerry and Grant. Didn't really need to draft Jerry and Grant, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'll just use him as trade bait LeBron, and whoa, LeBron is there. Usually LeBron is never there. Uh, yes, with the trade clause, four-year deal. Let's do this, LeBron. Please come to Charlotte. I'm begging you, dude. Come on. You've got to come to Charlotte. We got LeBron James. All right. That just makes up for what a crappy offseason we and we can get Kevin Love. If I can get Kevin Love, 
I'm going to get Kevin Love. And he wants to come to Charlotte. That's what I'm talking about. Now we can re-sign Bismack Biombo and Jeff Taylor and Norris Cole. Now we're going to have, like, what, four point guards? So definitely going to trade somebody. Wow, this team just went from looking awful to looking like a championship contending team. Uh, we need one more player. Let's call on the services of um, no one because everyone here sucks. Uh, Jason Richardson, why not? Come to Charlotte, please. All right, there we go. So now this team is looking very, very nice. So our starting lineup at the start of Season 2 is D'Angelo Russell, Tim Hardaway Jr., LeBron James, Kevin Love, and Joel Embiid. Dang. That's a pretty good squad. And D'Angelo Russell, um, you know, progresses to like a 90-plus overall. And can we just talk about this for a second? Really, 2K? They're in the, they are in the same exact pose. Uh, Lance Stevenson is our seventh man with uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. being the starting shooting guard. And, yeah, uh, nine-man rotation once again. Um, I'm going to see what I can get for Jerry and Grant because we do have, like, what, four point guards? I'm going to bring in Matthew Delvadova and Chris Anderson from the Cleveland Cavaliers, and I'm giving up Jerry and Grant and Norris Cole. Uh, Matthew Delvadova, man, he's been huge this postseason for the Cavs. Bismack Biombo, I don't want to trade him, partially because I can't get anything for him, and because uh, he is a good center. $95 million deal from LeBron. Speaking of LeBron, what? Yo, should I do this and get Kevin Durant? Should I do that? Should I get Kevin Durant? Because, like, I always get, like, everyone always gets LeBron. Should I just try and get Kevin Durant real quick? Should I try and get Kevin Durant? Okay, they're going to try and push it. So let's not get Kevin Durant. So, the uh, like, this team is looking pretty good. Uh, maybe one video I'll trade for Kevin Durant, but this is not the video. So let's go and win ourselves an NBA championship this year. I honestly think that we can. Like, we have the team too, so hopefully we can. That was so awkward. What the heck? Hopefully we can. That was so awkward. Yo, this team is looking fire. Flames. I'm excited. James Harden wins the MVP in Season 2, averaging 28 points, almost 8 rebounds, and 8.5 and assists. Almost 2 steals as well. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, Rookie of the Year. That is great to see. 14 points, almost 5 rebounds, and almost 8 assists. Uh, Shabazz Napier, Sixth Man of the Year. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. Zach Levine, Most Improved Player. And our coach, Lionel Hollins, Coach of the Year, leading us to a 61-21 and 21, 21 record. Good enough for first in the Eastern Conference. I got hit with the Joel Embiid lower leg stress fracture. That's awful. Um, right, okay, okay. so we have Noah Vonley playing center. Hopefully that's still a good um, you know, substitution for that. Uh, I got hit with the glitch. Kevin Durant, broken ankle out four to six weeks as LeBron does make the all NBA first team, uh, all NBA second team. Uh, wow. Marcus Saul is a member of the Blazers. Wow. You like no one ever goes to the Blazers except for Damian Lillard. Um, when he resigns, um, no one from our team there on the all NBA third team, all defensive first team, no one there. And there's LeBron making the all-defensive second team. All-rookie first team there is D'Angelo Russell, and that is our only rookie that made a team. So, um, I don't. I was going to go to the standings. Actually, uh, I'm going to start doing a thing where I show you guys uh, all of the rosters of the teams that I'm playing. So, we were playing the Magic in uh, the first round. They have they have Willie Cauley-Stein, Jeremy Lamb, basically uh, same exact team except for those two. Uh, they also have, uh, what, Devin Marble. I mean, they've had him. Um, Joe Keem Noah to the Sixers for Alex Jefferson. Well, if we play the Bulls, we're probably going to lose. Tyler Zella for New Orleans Noel. That's an awful trade. Thomas Robinson for Nick Young. That's a bad trade. Uh, Miritich for Tristan Thompson. Straight up. Greg Monroe for Al Horford. A ton of blockbuster trades uh, happening here in Season 2. And then Patrick Patterson for Anthony Bennett. So, here we go. Going up against the Magic in round one. I am expecting to win in five games because knowing 2K, and never mind. I was about to say knowing 2K, I can never sweep a team. Wow, the Heat beat the Bulls. Let's see who the Heat have as Joel Embiid is only out one to two more weeks. That is good. Um, they basically have the same exact team. They have uh, Lucas Nogaria. I think that's how you say his name. I love his hair. Uh, they also have Chris Kamen and Tyler Hansborough. Whoa. All right. All right. And uh, Juwan Staten, I think that's how you say that. And yeah, so we should beat this team, really. I don't see a reason why we shouldn't beat this team. Win in what, four games again? Five games? All right, so we do win in five games. Going up against the Indiana Pacers. 
Hey, Joel Embiid is day-to-day. -day. That is good. Uh, who do the Pacers have on their team? They do have Patty Mills. Oh, man, if we got Patty Mills in real life, that would be so nice. Uh, they also got Ed Davis and Robin Lopez. Uh, Kyle Singler, Squ Swaggy P. I, I almost said Squaggy P. Um, Cl <laughs> Cliff Alexander and Norman Powell. So, I honestly think that we can make it to the finals. Like, there's no reason why we shouldn't make it to the finals. We go up so oh, nope, 3-1. And would you look at that, we make it to the NBA Finals, going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. I mean, I don't really need to show their team because they keep the same exact players and they, and they do great every single year. Uh, Mo Harkless, they have him. Uh, they also have, they well, they drafted Devin Booker, and that's basically it. So let's go win ourselves an NBA championship here in year number two, which, I, which would tie us for, let's see, uh, the Celtics. And I want to say the Raptors and the Wizards, maybe, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I have to go back and check, but don't, but don't quote me on that. I know for a fact that I won in two years with the Celtics, but I'm not expecting to be the Thunder. To be honest, not expecting. As we go down three games to one, oh three two. I'm gonna. All right. If it gets close, you already know I'm gonna play it and hopefully force a game seven. And it is getting out of crunch time, but we do end up winning by five points. Let's go to Game 7, man. LeBron James, 25 points, 5 rebounds, 8 assists. Joel Embiid, 14 and 13, as he does uh, come back from his injury. Kevin Durant, man, 7 for 12, 2 with 3. You got to score more points than that. But Ke uh, Russell Westbrook led the way with 36 points. So here we go. Game 7. I believe it's on our home. Yep, it is on our home floor. Uh, let me change the rotations, make sure everything's good. So starting lineup for Game 7, D'Angelo Russell, Tim Hardaway Jr., LeBron, Kevin Love, and Joel Embiid. So let's win ourselves a title, man. I think we can, and if not, we're, we're, we're like, we have to be the favorite for next year. So let's do this. Let's go. Oh, yes, big lead. Oh, come on, Thunder. So with 2 minutes and 23 seconds left in the game, the Thunder are up by 4. They have outscored us by 10 here in the 4th quarter, which has really shot us in the foot. I'm going to play it and hopefully win ourselves a championship here in year number two. I'm ready, man, and I honestly think that I can pull off this comeback. And if we don't win, blame me. You can blame me because I'm playing it, or you can blame the, the uh, Hall of Fame 2K Cheese, whichever one you prefer. All right, so the Thunder have the ball. They have, okay, what is this lineup that we have in? All right, so we have our starting lineup in the game. Actually, let's get Joel Embiid in there. Uh, Mitch McGarry has it, and I don't know why. I just, like, left him open. Uh, that was a total derp on my part. Launches up a three, no good, but we can't get the rebound. Yes, there we go. All right, give it to LeBron, and in LeBron we trust. Oh, look at that crossover. Oh, LeBron James to the basket. Let's go. Down by two points. That's what I'm talking about, man. Kevin Durant has five fouls, but he's not in the game with like a minute and a half left. I don't know why he's not in the game. That does not make any sense. Uh, the Thunder are definitely missing some firepower on offense. And, whoa, oh no, this is such a mismatch. Please don't pass it to the center. No, Westbrook, no. Okay, there you go, D'Angelo Russell. Huge rebound. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, LeBron in the post. He's got Mitch McGarry on him. He steps back. Oh, Tim Hardaway Jr. is open. Never mind. Oh, my God. This, this, this possession is going nowhere. All right, give it. Oh, no. He came out of nowhere. No. What a disappointment by me. I could not win in game seven. And, oh, my God. Of course. Of course LeBron makes that. Uh, we could not pull it off as the Thunder win game number seven. I'm not even going to show it. I'm not even going to show it. Nope. Not even going to show it. Stop. So we lose to the Oklahoma City Thunder in seven games. That fourth quarter really killed us. They outscored us by 10. Man, no one just played. Like, no one shot the ball well. LeBron had 28 shots. Just, oh, my God. We played awful. Durant and Westbrook went off. Oh, man. I just cannot believe that. We lost that game. So, let's go into the offseason now. We should be the favorites. We really should be. And um, I'm kind of mad. Kind of mad that we did lose. Uh, no one on our team retired except for Chris Anderson, but does not really matter. Kevin Garrett, Kevin Garrett on the Pelicans. All right, and he does make the Hall of Fame. But this is what I'm talking about, man. We have the best odds to get that number one pick in the draft. Let's do it. And then I'll probably get Ben Simmons because Ben Simmons is a beast in this game. Well, he progresses to be a beast in this game. Uh, don't, don't screw me over, 2K. Please do not screw me over. I swear. Do not. I... I've been good to you guys, right? We get it. 
that's what I'm talking about. We get the number one pick in the NBA draft. So great. Uh, ben Simmons, welcome to the Hornets, man. Like I'm already like prematurely saying it because that is who I will be drafting. Ben Simmons, welcome to the Charlotte Hornets 6'10 small forward from LSU. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, I looked here to see, you know, what we really needed. And what we really need is a backup small forward because Jeff Taylor's not going to get the job done being a backup small forward. So, our, like, our team is looking super nice. We better win the title this year, man. We better win it. The starting lineup at the start of Season 3 is the exact same as last year. D'Angelo Russell, Tim Hardaway Jr., LeBron James, Kevin Love, same position, really 2K, and Joel Embiid with Noah Vonley being our sixth man. Uh, once again, a nine-man rotation. Ben Simmons is probably going to move up to the ninth spot uh, towards probably like the middle of the year. I'm expecting a championship this year. Championship or bust, man. Steph Curry wins the MVP in Season 3, 27.4 points, 6 rebounds, and 10 assists with almost 3 steals. Jalen Brown, Rookie of the Year. Uh, ben Simmons would have won it if he started, but since he didn't, Jalen Brown won it. Uh, Ricky Rubio, Sixth Man of the Year. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. Miles Turner, Most Improved Player. And our coach, Lionel Hollins, once, did, once again, uh, wins Coach of the Year. And once again, I did get hit with the glitch. Paul George, Broken Ankle. Al Hor Horford, Broken Nose. Uh, there's your All NBA first team. All NBA second team. Marcus Saw with a torn elbow ligament. There is LeBron James. And then the All NBA third team. Kyle Lowry has a broken leg. And Demarcus Cousins has a broken thigh. And there is Kevin Love making it as well. Uh, the All Defensive first team. Uh, DeAndre Jordan has a hand fracture. And the All Defensive second team. There is LeBron James. And then on the All Rookie second team, there's Ben Simmons. Our team is looking so nice, dude. Uh, let's check out. All of the trades that happens, uh, probably nothing too huge. Uh, Alfred Payton to the Mavs, probably nothing huge. Uh, Rudy Gobert for Mason Plumley. I mean, wow. Kenneth Fareed and Gallinari for Kawhi Leonard and Tiago Splitter. That's an awful trade for the Spurs. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? We are going up against the Detroit Pistons in the first round. They win game one. Okay, um, as long as they don't win, you know, any other games, you know. As long as we can win four straight games, I'm fine with that. Wow, the Cavs take out the Bulls, and the Pacers take out the Magic. Wow, I mean, all right, I will take that. Um, uh, our competition has now, well, our competition level has been decreased as we sweep the Bucks in four games. All right, going up against the Pacers. Thunder Warriors, Hornets Pacers. I'm pretty sure that's how it was in last season's. Well, in in uh, last season, uh, I'm expecting a sweep once again. Uh, no, wait, what? Three one, four one? Yes. Oh, the Warriors are up three games to one, and we are going up against the Golden State Warriors. Uh, I forgot to show the teams of everybody, but I, but I will show who is on this Warriors team. Basically, the the same exact team. Uh, they got uh, Damari Carroll. Zach Randolph, wow, that would be a really good signing for them in real life, uh, but I doubt that he would ever leave Memphis. Uh, they also have Courtney Lee and Troy Daniels, uh, Eggman Guven, and David Lee, and Henry Ellenson, who has a humorous fracture, who's out for the year, so we don't really have to worry about him. Let's go and sweep the Warriors. Sweep, please? Oh, okay, no. Okay, well, at least, at least we are in position to win it on our home floor, so let's do so. Let's win ourselves a title. So with 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter, we are we are up by 29 points against the Warriors, man. LeBron, 45 points, missing three shots, one from three, 13 to 14 from the free throw line. That is absolutely insane. That is called MVP. Oh, man. Klay Thompson went off for 40. It doesn't matter because we are going to win our first NBA. Well, we are going to win the NBA championship here in year number three. So let's go view the championships, the championship celebration and then the championship roster. And they've done it. The new NBA champions. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together and join Clark this NBA championship moment. Well, Kevin, it's awesome to be here to witness what happened tonight. Throughout your life, when you're a kid growing up and practicing on your, on your driveway or on your schoolyard, this is the culmination of all those efforts. One of the great moments in their life and their career that they'll ever experience. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone.
It took us three seasons, but we finally get the job done, winning in five games against the Golden State Warriors, losing only three games the whole entire postseason. And as you saw there, LeBron James does win the Finals MVP with 45 points in Game 5. Insane performance by him. Uh, he averaged 22 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, uh, almost 3.5 steals, and almost 2 blocks. That is pretty impressive. And all of your retired players, Steve Blake, Udonis Haslam, and Dwayne Wade surprisingly retires at the end of uh, Season 3. You usually never see him retire at the end of Season 3. And he also makes the Hall of Fame. So here is the championship roster at the end of year number three. Uh, LeBron James, Kevin Love, D'Angelo Russell, Noah Vonley, Lance Stevenson, Joel Embiid, Tim Hardaway Jr., Ben Simmons, Bismack Biombo, Matthew Dellavedova, Austin Rivers, Jeff Taylor, and Marcus Page. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. And also make sure to go vote in the poll uh, for which team I should be rebuilding next. There are, there are only three teams left. Uh, the Kings, the Pistons, and the Jazz. So yeah, make sure to go vote there, uh, and also leave your opinion. Leave your opinion in the comment section down below, and tell me the teams that you have rebuilt. I love seeing what teams you guys have rebuilt. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, just before the game, the championship ring is distributed to the players by NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. And a proud moment indeed for this team and their fans. Tim Hardaway Jr. Joel MB. Oh, Jesus!